Welcome to Biomed Global. This video describes molecular differences between two diseases, that is sickle cell disease and thalassemia. Both these are two different diseases. However, they have the similar inheritance pattern. Uh, just to remind you, this video is part of the genomic medicine series. Both these sickle cell disease and thalassemia have a defective hemoglobin. So we have to first discuss a bit about hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein having four polypeptide chains. And among these two are alpha chain, each having 141 amino acid. Whereas the other two are beta chain, each having 146 amino acid. So all these four chains, they form a structure that is over here. The two alpha chains and two beta chains, they combine with each other and they form a protein which has four polypeptide chains. So a brief of similarities between the sickle cell disease and uh, thalassemia. Uh, both are genetic diseases and inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. Uh, both reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of red blood cell and both these disorders share clinical symptoms like fatigue, jaundice and painful condition. So what are the differences? The differences are in sickle cell disease Amino acid in beta chain at position 6 is converted from glutamate to valine. However, in thalassemia, the defect can be in any of the four chains. Uh, it could be due to mutation or it could be associated with certain structural changes in the protein. So here is the molecular difference in the normal beta globin gene and mutant beta globin gene in sickle cell anemia. So this glutamate is converted into valine. In thalassemia, the defect is also in the hemoglobin protein. And we know it hemoglobin protein has four chains, two alpha chains and two beta chains. And uh, if in thalassemia, the defect is in the alpha chain that is known as alpha thalassemia, and there are four types of uh, alpha thalassemia issues. Uh, if the problem is in the beta chains, then it's known as a beta thalassemia. And there are three types of beta thalassemia that uh, are classified as minor beta thalassemia, intermedia, and major are, and it's also known as Cooley's anemia. Both these thalassemia and sickle cell disease are genetic disorder. Uh, that means the disease is transmitted from parents to the children. However, the mode of transmission of disease is autosomal recessive in nature. What that means, a man can have a disease gene, but could be normal. And we call uh, these people as the carrier of the disease. And similar could be a, uh, a female, like, I mean, uh, she can carry a defective gene and uh, uh, she could be normal if she has the other part of the gene as the normal one. Now, if uh, this man married to this girl, so among the children, there is a possibility that a uh, child can get both these uh, defective genes, and then that person will be uh, a diseased person. However, if the child is getting one good gene and one defective gene, that person will be a carrier of this uh, disease, but will be normal. And uh, if both the normal genes are being transmitted, then this person will be totally normal. The current management or treatment practices for both thalassemia and sickle cell disease involve bone marrow stem cell transplant, uh, blood transfusion that provides a temporary relief, uh, hydroxyurea, and it has been reported that hydroxyurea induces the production of fetal hemoglobin and uh, we will talk in some other uh, presentation about the fetal hemoglobin. But here I would like to mention that fe fetal hemoglobin is not having beta chains. Rather, it has a gamma chain. So uh, if people are having a fetal hemoglobin, they will never get this sickle cell disease. 
because sickle cell disease is uh, uh, due to defect in the beta chain. Now, folic acid treatments, they promote the health of red blood cells, which carry hemoglobin. Uh, beside this one, like if someone is uh, suffering with thalassemia or sickle cell disease, that person should get the genetic counseling and uh, uh, I, particularly for uh, marriages, like, I mean, uh, if someone is carrying the gene for the disease and married to a lady who is also carrying the gene, so there is a possibility of children getting the disease. Uh, I, here I would like to mention that uh, gene therapy is an experimental treatment. It's being developed uh, that is considered as the ultimate treatment for both these uh, thalassemia or the sickle cell disease but the uh, better chances are for the treatment of sickle cell disease uh, where the defective gene is replaced with the good one. Thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to your comments and questions regarding uh, uh, this video. And I will appreciate if you subscribe to our channel Biomed Global. Thanks and all the best.